Press both buttons together to power on the remote. If the transmitter alarms, push all switches upward to turn it on. Open the hatch cover. Plug in the battery. Connect the battery. And wait for the self-check to complete. Check if the servos are operating normally. Close the hatch cover. Wait for the aircraft to search for satellites until the green light stays on. Hold the helicopter and rotate it in a full circle, ensuring the flight controller remains steadily lit green. Inverted V-stick movement to arm the helicopter. Release the sticks and turn the arm switch to run. Wait for the motors to finish accelerating. Push the left stick up to take off. Push the right stick up to fly forward. Pull the right stick down to fly backward. Push the left stick left to fly left. Push the right stick right to fly right. Push the left stick left to turn left. Push the left stick right to turn right. If coordinated turn mode is enabled, the helicopter's roll assist will activate coordinated turning. Flip up the home switch. It will return to the takeoff point and land. The helicopter has three flight sensitivities modes. Flight speed and angle differ with each mode. Pull the left stick down to land. Once it's stationary, release the sticks and flip up the stop switch. Wait for the propellers to stop spinning to complete landing. In Acro mode, push the right stick to fly inverted. It will perform continuous rolls if you don't release the stick. If it vibrates on takeoff, the propellers may be too loose. Tighten the propeller screws with the included tool until the propellers don't fall off. Do not over tighten. This will eliminate the vibration. If GPS signal is weak and the helicopter drifts slowly, use opposite stick inputs to stabilize it. If the helicopter ascends uncontrollably, it's activating low battery auto return. Flip the mode switch to home mode, then flip it back to cancel it.